For how much we love Apex Legends, it's crazy to think about how the game just showed up out of nowhere. Whether you love jumping on bandwagons or jumping out of planes for battle royale matches, Apex is a refreshing change of pace, mostly because there's no building. Today, we're going to take a journey through Kings Canyon in an attempt to answer that oh-so-pressing question that plagues us in every single match. Where the heck should I drop? With our guide, we've analyzed all 17 name zones to make sure you're well on your way to drop, drop, dropping like it's hotter than a thermite grenade. But first, a primer. Dropping 101. A good drop zone provides a ton of loot, plenty of cover, and ideally some oh-so-important high ground. It also has mobility options, which in this game mostly means zip lines and jump towers. You know those floating balloons that allow you to zip line up and fly a long distance? And the zone shouldn't be too crowded unless you're planning to rampage so you can earn the coveted title of Kill Leader. At the beginning of each Apex Legends match, players see the location of both a hot zone and a supply ship. This assures that those who are willing to risk a sweaty skirmish will get access to superior loot if they choose to drop into one of these locations. So, if you're feeling a bit try-hard, you may want to drop into these zones and get your hands on that good-ish. Additionally, respawn beacons take up a bunch of real estate all over the map. They prove incredibly helpful when you need to save the day by bringing your eliminated teammates back to life. Hot tip, these beacons often have supply crates around them. Since reviving your teammates brings them back with no loot, be nice and make sure there's a gun or two for them nearby so they don't immediately get clapped. Okay, let's get to dropping squad. Slum Lakes This underutilized zone is at the edge of the map, which makes it a great spot for picking up loot but perhaps not so good for getting kills. For the most part, loot will be decent here, plus there's a lot to explore, so you at least get a few goodies. You can easily zip line over to the elevated area just northeast of the zone, which you can loot without garnering a ton of attention. And on the off chance you happen to land there and your teammate is down by an opposing squad, you can resurrect them with a nearby respawn beacon. Always nice to have a safety net. Relay Strategy-wise, Relay is a bit tricky. Even though it frequently has good loot, there's almost no way out of there without facing squads that dropped in wetlands or passing through the wide open space outside of artillery. You'll be setting yourself up for campers who've been playing all week, getting footage for their sniping compilation on YouTube. This is also one of the few areas of the map that you can easily fall over the side of the map if you're not paying attention. D don't ask me how I know that, and definitely don't ask my squad mates. On the bright side, this zone is so far to the edge of the map that it's usually not too packed. But if you ever do find the storm creeping up on you, set your sights on one of the jump towers in the vicinity and make your way to safety. The Pit There's not much to say about the pit except that, well, it's a pit, kind of. Though I would describe it more as like a well. In any case, it's on the small side, so even though it has pretty good loot, it's not all that great for an entire team. If you do choose to drop into the pit, make sure you have your next destination planned out. You're not likely going to find a game-winning loadout in this single location. Also, if you see another team landing there, abort! Abort! Seriously, in this enclosed area, a 3-on-3 three -three fight is anybody's game and is highly contingent on who picks up a gun first. Cascades There's usually a lot of good loot here, but it's a risky drop choice because it's such a hot skirmish zone. You'll frequently face enemies from all sides, shooting at you from varying heights. This area is so open that it's tough to try and outrun your opponents if you're not quite ready for a fight. If anything, we'd recommend starting nearby at Artillery and then meandering over to Cascade once your squad already has a little bit of starter loot. Runoff this zone pays homage to Titanfall's runoff map, and it's a decent drop zone, if only because no one else ever goes there. You'll find a few buildings to loot, though they're a bit spread out, which can quickly cause you to lose track of your teammates until the moment you suddenly notice that they're bleeding out. A squad considering dropping there would be wise to hit both runoff and the zone directly south, airbase. For a place this large and sprawling, you'd almost expect more from it. The challenge with this location is that there's so much wide open space that you're an easy target if you can't get your hands on a gun right away. Usually, you can find a few good pickups and some crates, but if another team or group of teams land there, be sure to find them before they find you. You don't want to get sniped from across the base? Sometimes you get lucky and find a ton of supply crates, but because the loot can be so hit or miss, you're often better off going for the ground loot. A single building with four or five rooms can often have as much loot as four or five supply crates. Wetlands 
I have a bone to pick with the Apex Legends creators about wetlands. You see, if you land on wetlands and the circle is directly to the west of it, your only options are to cut through the center of the mountain blocking this zone or go around it. So I guess what I'm saying is that wetlands is a great spot if you want to trap yourself. If you're a fan of racing to the circle and constantly losing your health, then wetlands is the spot for you. Even with the loot, it's not worth the risk. The buildings here are really spread out, so you might instead be better off going to a place like swamps and avoiding the alligator. I mean, looting there and carefully tracking the circle to avoid wetlands. Swamps. Speaking of swamps, this location sounds like a fun place to hang out, right? Well, not exactly, unless you want to stay in a murky area where snipers can pick you off from the hills. Seemingly a nod towards Titanfall's DLC map Swampland, there are a lot of little buildings here with some loot inside, but on the downside, going from building to building is a sure way to get spotted. Crossing on the bridges that connect the buildings there? That's practically a guaranteed headshot for a sniper. Bunker the bunker is a great place, if not exactly the best for landing. The biggest issue here is that it's a full-on head-to-head showdown in this long, narrow area with nowhere to hide. Typically, you'll find some good stuff there, but it'll be a challenge to try and claim it all. So if you spot another team landing there, forget it. You'll have to quickly pick up a bunch of throwables to blast your enemies into oblivion. Another tactic is to use Wraith's dimensional rift portal ability to move players quickly in and out of the building if they encounter danger. Or you could, you know, land somewhere else. Bridges Here's another area near the center of the map that has a lot of different terrains. But the trouble with looting a place like Bridges is that you're legitimately in a clash zone. Most of the time, the dropship will fly directly over or near this area, meaning someone will probably end up there. Because this location tends to be a bit of a bloodbath regardless, you might be setting yourself up for failure if you drop in here. Market Market is a much safer alternative. It's a solid drop zone. It's fairly close to the center of the map, and there are tons of little rooms and passages where you can find loot. The setup lets players maximize the ability to take cover and hide from enemies. And you can get good angles on enemies for the kill, as long as they haven't backed you into a corner. The gear isn't always high tier, but at the end of the day, there's plenty to choose from. You can usually find a purple helmet or purple body armor to make you that much tougher to take down. Skull Town. Skulltown has numerous multi-level units. Climbing allows players to gain additional vantage points that can help you take down enemies who try to ambush from the ground. But of course, there always seems to be a lot of people at Skulltown. Maybe because it's near the center of the map, or maybe just because there's good loot and plenty of hiding spaces. If you do want to land here, make sure you have Bloodhound on your squad. You'll need their local scanner to pinpoint enemy locations in this zone especially. Artillery this medium busy zone has a ton of spacious layered areas where you can get a lot of loot. Artillery is good for both mid-range and long-range weapons. You can shoot to the ground from the top of a building, or you can hide in the corners and take your enemies by surprise with a shotgun. There's also a respawn beacon here, so you can get your downed teammates back into the fight without delay. The downside is that there won't be much cover as you run from building to building, so be strategic and try not to hang out in the open too long. And if you need to escape quickly, there's a passage on the west side of the zone that isn't used as frequently as you might expect. Take advantage of it. Repulsor this is a solid loot spot across the board. There's lots of stuff to explore, but don't forget to check the tops of buildings. Sometimes that's where the best loot is, and you'll have a vantage point to counter other players. It is known for having a lot of loot, and it's close enough to the center of the map. So take caution if you're not ready to drop in arm swinging. Hydro Dam if you play best in open areas, Hydro Dam is a strong bet. It's not the most popular zone in the game, but there are a number of supply crates, and the elevation is good for visibility. You'll find some good loot here, but for maximum lootage, we recommend hitting both this zone and nearby Repulsor to the south in the same run. Water Treatment I mean, I guess if you want to have functional plumbing on an island, you're going to need to have a water treatment facility. It's kind of gross, but full of surprises. Your success in this map zone is highly contingent upon where you land within this facility. The trouble is that in the deep wells of water, you can find yourself running around in circles finding everything but a good gun. On the other hand, if you land in the buildings, you can quickly loot up. Just know that you'll have to travel across some open space to leave it, which opposing squads will definitely 
hardly notice. Thunderdome. Tucked away in a corner of the map, this bizarre area is a much more vertical space than the rest of the map. Zip lines lift you up into areas that you can cruise for loot, but the weird layout and sometimes scarcity of useful gear makes for an unpopular drop zone, which can actually be a huge advantage since it's unlikely to be populated. Bonus Locations Just because a place isn't named on the map doesn't mean it's not a noteworthy location in Apex Legends. Two spines, not marked in the drop-in map, is between Cascades and Wetlands. This is generally a pretty good loot spot and is typically less populated since it's not a listed location. You can loot the houses nearby and then head over to the open field itself. Just try and keep your head low. The caves near the bridges are full of supply grates. This tends to be less of a drop zone and more of a loot this area if you're already passing through here zone, but you can typically find some goodies here. On the other hand, the Shattered Forest has almost no loot, so don't drop there. Seriously, you don't believe me, but you will when you walk away with a single shield recharge and a couple of extended mags for guns you wouldn't even use if you had them. So that wraps up our video on hot drop zones. What are some of your favorite areas to drop and why? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the leaderboard. We've got more Apex Legends planned, so keep an eye open. I've been your host, Jetset. Thanks for watching.